So today's video, I'm excited for today because God is actually making me go to scripture for th for today's message. And he usually doesn't do that. He he doesn't do that. And I'm sure it's because he doesn't want me to misinterpret scripture or lead people wrong or, you know, like because I'm not all the way equipped with it. Sometimes I'll mess up and that can that can come off as confusing. God didn't want that. But now he's telling me to go to scripture, which means I'm leveling up in my quote unquote ministry like he's allowing me to speak all right so he made me go to genesis and in genesis is the story of adam and eve and for the people that know eve was tempted by the devil who was disguised as a serpent which was a snake um to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil which god told them not to eat right but a lot of people miss important factors before she ate of the fruit and after she ate of the fruit as to what could have been prevented um what was the reasoning why she even did what she did in the first place all that right a lot of people miss miss important factors because we like to put the blame on eve but we don't pay attention to the entire story we just say oh eve ate and then she gives her husband it's her fault it's eve, eve's fault eve, eve's the reason we all like this but we're missing important factors as to adam's part in it and we're missing the re for three things why did god make adam without eve right god made adam first and then he told him the instructions he said do not eat from this tree you can eat everything in this garden every tree from this garden except from this tree of the knowledge of good and evil do not eat that you will surely die and then he made eve which means god did not directly tell eve the instruction and that's purpose in that that is because Adam is supposed to lead Eve, right? God leads Adam, Adam leads Eve. That's how it's supposed to go. So there's purpose in the fact that God did not make Eve at the same time as Adam and tell Eve the instruction while he told Adam the instruction. He told Adam specifically, didn't tell Eve. Adam told Eve the instruction. So that's one um important factor for why the devil even tempted Eve and not Adam. That's another important factor and why God called out to Adam after they they noticed that they were naked and exposed why he called out to adam and not eve so i'm gonna go back to again like i said god made adam first because he is supposed to be the leader right when it comes to marriage he's supposed to be the leader women are supposed to be led by men because we're not supposed to lead ourselves because it leads to destruction as presented in the story of adam and eve so he made him without without eve for a reason to give him the instruction so that he can he can give um eve the instruction and i had to look up the duties of a leader because i'm like okay what what is the what is the job of a leader for real because god is a leader but also adam adam is a leader of eve and the duties of a leader are to motivate to instruct and to discipline the people they are in charge of to motivate to instruct and to discipline okay so why did the devil tempt eve and not adam the reason he tempted eve is because eve did not get told directly from God to not eat from this tree, which is why the devil said, basically said in Genesis, um, Genesis three, that's where he, you know, manipulates her and deceives her. He told her, he asked her, did God say that you can't eat from every tree? Basically. And she said, he said that we can eat from every tree except for the tree from of knowledge of good and evil. And the devil said, um, you shall not surely die because Eve said you know god said you will surely die he said you you shall not surely die god knew that if you ate from this tree that you would be like him and you would see you you would know the knowledge of good and evil so basically manipulate her to say like you're not gonna die right away as soon as you touch it you see like you're you're not dead like that just proves that you're not gonna die right deceived her made her believe that oh just because she didn't die as soon as she touched it or whatever the case may be that you're not gonna die but she ate from the fruit and they died spiritually. They were disconnected from God. They felt naked because she gave unto her husband. So he ate too. So they both felt naked. They were spiritually dead. But he tempted Eve, right? He did that because, again, God did not directly tell Eve the instruction, which, mean, which means, let's say, for example, your mom, there's a difference in your mom coming directly to you and saying, if you do not wash the dishes, your phone's going to get taken away. Rather than your sibling saying hey mom said if you don't wash the dishes your phone's gonna get taken away there's more accountability in the fact that somebody told you directly than if somebody told you indirectly 
Meaning that if somebody told you directly, if God said to Eve, do not eat from this tree, then she would know to respond to that to that serpent and say, yeah, God told me. I heard him with my own two ears. But because she didn't hear God say that, he, he she heard it from Adam who heard it from God. She was able to say, well, God said that, you know, she couldn't say that she heard directly from him because she didn't hear directly from him. Adam did. So she he knew not to tempt Adam because if he went to Adam and said, did God say that you can't eat from every, every uh, you know, every tree? Did God say you're not going to surely die? His response would be, yes, I will, because God directly said that to me. So he knew he couldn't tempt Adam. He knew Adam was not going to fall for that. And that's the reason why he tempted Eve, which is why it's important for the man to lead the woman. Because when women are without men, and I don't know who doesn't want to believe that, but when women aren't without men, they will lead themselves into destruction. Okay? And a man needs to be a leader for a woman specifically, not just a leader in business, not just a leader in in um the music industry or whatever you want to believe in. It's for marriage specifically to lead your wife. That's why the purpose of men being leaders are to lead their wife, not specifically for any other thing to be a leader in, in the government or a job or a career. It's specifically for your wife because there's a purpose in that. And this is a story for why there's purpose. And like I said, that's the reason why the devil tempted Eve. Because he knew that if he tempted Adam, Adam would say, no, I heard God say that directly to me. Yeah, no. But because Eve didn't hear that from God, he she heard it from another source. She can be manipulated and say, whoa, did God say that? Because Adam didn't back her up. Adam didn't say, no, God did say that. Which is another important factor of why it's important for the man to protect the wife. Because why, people don't question this either. Why did God call out to Adam after they after they realized they were naked, after they um, ate from the tree and they realized they were naked, they were spiritually dead, they hid themselves. God, this is another thing. When God asks his questions in the Bible, it's not for his benefit. He knows the answer. He knows exactly where Adam is. But he asked and he said, Adam, where are you? That is a moment for Adam to admit, okay, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. Because he knew that he was supposed to protect his wife. He was not supposed to. Because in the Bible, it doesn't say whether he was present when Eve was being tempted or not. So I don't want to, quote unquote, say if he was or not. Let's just say he wasn't. If he wasn't present, that means that he was building somewhere, doing whatever he was doing. And he let his wife go astray. He allowed her to just wander off and not protect her, which is bad on his part. Let's just say he was present. He was standing right there. When Eve was being tempted, it is his job to motivate, instruct, and discipline the people he is in charge of. Meaning, it's his job to say, no, God told me directly that that's not what we're doing. So, Eve, let's go. God told me we're not doing that. I don't care what the serpent says, we're not doing that. It's his job to do that. So, whether he was present or not doesn't matter. It was his job to protect and instruct his wife so that she wouldn't be manipulated in situations like this. But because he allowed her to lead, he allowed the woman to lead, which isn't good. You're not supposed to lead. The woman is not supposed to lead in a relationship. It doesn't mean she doesn't have a say so, <clears throat> excuse me, or, you know, she can't say her opinion. It just simply means when it comes to God's instruction, the woman is not supposed to lead because God, Adam allowed for Eve to lead. And what happened? Eve said, okay, well, this seems good. God didn't tell me, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really I didn't, I don't feel like, you know, this will make me die. I don't feel like it will surely make me die. So let me just eat it. It looks good. Let me eat it. Adam allowed for her to make that decision. He's not supposed to do that. So they both failed. And so many people put emphasis on the fact that Eve failed and Eve is the one that sinned. But we don't put emphasis on the fact that Adam did too. Adam, it was Adam's job um, initially to protect and instruct his wife and say, this is what we're doing. Not just tell her, but act on it and be there when situations like this occur. To be that protection, you have to protect the wife. You have to protect. That is your job as a leader to protect the people that you're leading. Protect them emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And God just made me talk about that because a lot of people miss those important factors. doesn't matter what, whether he was present or not. He still failed. They both failed. But it's not just Eve. So let's put some emphasis on both of them. Um, take that back to God. Pray on that. Go read your Bible. Look into it. And yeah, have a good day.